Hi there, welcome to Get2 Plugins Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn WooCommerce Variation Select dropdown into color swatches from scratch. In the last two tutorials, I explained how you can enable color swatches from globally and manually created product attribute variations. For your convenience, I have added those videos link in the description below. I'm assuming you have already installed our popular WooCommerce Variation Swatches plugin on your site. As I will explain how you can enable color swatches from scratch, I'm going to show the time saving way to create variable color variations. Product attribute can be created globally and manually. For manual process, you have to create the same attributes and it variations for each product one by one. On the other hand, when you create a global attribute, you can assign it to any number of variable product without repeating yourself. I'm going to present the tutorial creating a global attribute. To create global attribute, head to your site backend and navigate to attributes from product settings. For demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a color attribute called pattern. Choose color from type drop down and select add attribute button. You can notice pattern attributes now successfully been created. Now select configure term to select it variations. We will create three variations for this pattern attribute. They are red, green and blue variation. Let's fill the variation name field with red. Select red color from the color picker and select add new variation button. To add green variation, fill variation name field with green and select green color from the color picker. Lastly, add blue in the name field and select blue color from the color picker. After creating global attributes and its variations, you can assign them to any number of variable products easily. For demonstration purpose, I have chosen a product. Make sure the product you have selected, it has variable product selected from the product data dropdown. Select attribute tab and click on custom product attribute. In the custom product attribute dropdown, you will find all your globally created attributes. You can notice our newly created patterns attribute is there. Select pattern attribute and click on add new button. After that, press select all button. It will bring all your assigned variations inside your selected attribute. You can notice on my end, red, green and blue variation come up. Check use for variation setting and press save setting button. Now get to the variation tab. Click on add variation drop down. It will bring another setting called create variations from all attributes. Add variation setting will add each variation one by one. Create variation from all attributes will add entire variations at once. For this demo, I'm going with the second option. From here, you can insert all variation deleted data you need. I'm going to insert only variation price and image. Let's select red variation first. Add price and choose your desired variation photo from the media library. You can upload new photo from your computer as well. Now select green variation, add price and select a photo for it. Do the same for the last variation blue. Add price and select a beautiful picture for it. After inserting variation prices and images, select save settings button. Head to your selected product frontend. For my end, everything is working as expected. Hopefully you have found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and stay connected.